Hey guys, it's Marlo, and today I wanted to give you guys a quick look at the 1-6 scale. Mr. Z, the zoo in your hands. This is a 1-6 uh, scale Stafford, or American Staffordshire uh, Terrier. Hopefully I said that right. So American Staffordshire Terrier. I'm not a uh, dog expert or anything like that. But apparently this is a 1-6 one, uh, one scale version of that particular uh, breed of dog, and I picked this up uh, for the uh, sole purpose of having it as a accompanying piece to uh, a 1-6 scale John Wick figure that I'm hoping to get eventually from Hot Toys. Uh, a lot of people have made their own custom version of uh, John Wick, but I opted to wait for the official version again by Hot, Hot Toys. And uh, this would be a great accompanying piece to that figure. Now, this is my first time having a uh, piece from Mr. Z here. I'm guessing it stands for Mr. Zoo. And again, it's funny there, they're uh, also referring as Zoo here, Z H U, and uh, you know, making fun of that with the American version here, or you know, the English version, the uh, Zoo <laughs> in your hand. So that's all the info you get on the packaging, it's just pretty simple there. Uh, the figure is made of resin I believe so let's go ahead and open up the package and uh, take a closer look at the figure inside and from what I understand from uh, a little bit of research that I've seen uh, Mr. Zoo does a bunch of uh, one six scale animals particularly dogs uh, but again this is my first time getting a piece from this guy or this company it comes housed here, as you can see, in some foam, so it's safely packaged. Oop. And there we have the contents inside. You can see the main body of the dog and the head, which is separate. There are two versions, from what I understand, of this American Staffordshire uh, Terrier. There is one in a sitting position, and one, well, this version right here that I have that is in the uh, standing position and you can swap out the heads from either so if you have both which would have been cool you can swap out the heads between the two I think one might have like its tongue sticking out or something like that I'll try to insert a photo if I can find one in the video so you can see that but a closer look at the amazing head sculpt really awesome very lifelike I just wish, I'm kind of scared of uh, resin figures like this, especially with the legs, because, you know, if you're familiar with resin, they're quite fragile, so dropping this would be quite scary. It's basically like a statue, and, uh, you know, they would just quite uh, shatter easily. I would have preferred some kind of a solid plastic, or a harder plastic, just to be uh, a little bit safer. And he also does come with a little bit of accessories here, the dog collar and the leash. So let me try to get this set up and give you guys a better look at the uh, figure uh, setup. And here is a closer look at all the pieces again out of package. The leash, you can see there it's made of a sort of a faux leather material and he it does come with metal uh, clips there at the end so you can easily attach it to the collar. The collar again is a you know faux leather type material. You can see there, and I did string it up so that uh, I can put it onto the figure, put it in the right uh, belt hole loop, so it should fit quite nicely. Should be just about the right size there. So I'll put it on like so, so you can see how that fits onto the main body. And if you notice, there is a strong magnet there, and also the other side of the head sculpt, so it attaches quite nicely to the body, like so. So there you have the completed figure with the collar. I'll give you guys a closer look at the details on that. It's just quite a beautiful sculpt. Again, if you're just into even 1-6 scale animals, I guess it'd be nice to collect a bunch of Mr. Zoo's or Mr. Z's uh, artwork here. Pretty cool. And since it's just attached by magnet, there is some 
posability with the head there. You can see how it just can rotate like so. And again, it is quite strong. I wouldn't pick up the figure by just the head. I mean, you got to be careful. And again, if you were to drop this, since it is resin, it would probably most likely shatter once it hit a hard surface. So, got to be really careful with that. So, uh, again, really awesome sculpt there. It's really cool looking. The underside of the figure. I'm guessing he does this to his uh, artwork officially to let you know that it is an official Mr. Z product. You can see there the logo on the box. Basically the same thing. And just to give you guys a sense of the scale, I just so happen to have done a review on my X-Files Special Agent Fox Mulder, who is also wearing a suit, just like Mr. Wick. So, just to give you guys an idea of how he might display with a nice 1-6 scale John Wick figure. <laughs> so, really, really neat. I think that looks cool. So, I can't wait to get my John Wick figure in from Hot Toys. Wow. So that's it. If you are wondering, I got this figure from uh, one six, uh, yeah, one six kit online. I do believe he might be sold out, but you never know. You might want to check out his website just in case. I'll put a link in the description and probably in the video too. Again, one six kit dot com, and the price on this figure wasn't cheap. It was uh, fifty five dollars. And I believe that was shipped. Um, again, it is a cool sculpt, and I am a huge fan of John Wick, so I just had to have this as a great accessory to that figure. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this uh, quick little review and unboxing. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up, share the video, like the video, and please subscribe. Take care, guys. Keep on collecting, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.